What's up, YouTube? Today we're talking about the third commandment. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain or profane his name, which is the same thing. So we're going to go look at some scriptures, examine some scriptures, and see how the children of Israel profane God's name, all right, to get a better understanding of it. You can read about this commandment in Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. So let's get our Bibles and let's go. Okay, let's start at Ezekiel chapter 36. Okay, let's start at Ezekiel chapter 36. And we'll start at verse 19. And it reads, I scattered them amongst the heathen. Now, hold on for a second. Now, if you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, we'll see that if God's people broke his commandments, he would basically send them into captivity. Every time that they broke his commandments, he sent them into captivity, basically gave them a punishment, right? So right here, we see that this is the case. So verse 19, and I scattered them amongst the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their ways and according to their doings, I judged them. So basically God gave them judgment because of what they did. It broke his commandments so much so that he sent them into captivity. Verse 20. And when they entered unto the heathen, where they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of the Lord and are gone for out of his land. Now, notice what this, what this verse says. This verse said that they profaned God's name when the other nation said, these are these are the people of God. These are them. Now, they went, they were sent into captivity. So basically, you would look at them and be like, how could they, these be the people of God and he allowed them to go in captivity? Well, that's how they profane his name. Basically, it's as if your parent, your father, your mother, and your son or daughter went to a relative house or school and misbehave. When they're misbehaving, first thing a person thinks is, man, like, how are the, the parents raising this kid, right? So your kids are embarrassing you by their actions. So the same thing with God. When his children are misbehaving, they make him look bad. So this is how they profane his name by him punishing them and other nations looking at them like you're you're the child of God and you're in captivity. All right. Let's look at other examples of this. All right. Let's go to Amos chapter two. Amos chapter two. And let's start at verse six. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they sold the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes. Verse 7, that paint after the dust of the earth on the head of the poor and turn aside the ways of the meek. A man and his father will go in in unto the same may to profane my holy name. So notice in this text, a man and his father is going into the same woman to profane the name of God. So basically we see another example is they're profaning God's name by their actions, by them doing something wrong, basically embarrassing their God, basically not following his commandments. That's how they're profaning his name by committing fornication with this woman. Notice it says a man and the father is going into the same way. They commit this fornication with this woman, the same woman. And that's how they're profaning God's name. All right. Let's look at more examples of this. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 20. So we're starting to have understanding of what profaning God's name is, what breaking the third commandment is. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 16. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 16. 
and it reads because they despise my judgments so they don't like his commandments and walk not in my statutes but polluted my savage for their heart went after their idols so we're going to skip to verse 22 Nevertheless, I withdrew my hand and walked for my namesake that it should not be polluted in the sight of the heathen in whose sight I brought them forth. So notice this. The, how they're polluting God's name again? By their action. Basically, they despise his judgment. He sent them into captivity and they embarrass him. Same thing. And they're embarrassing him by their actions. All right. Let's go to Malachi chapter one. Malachi chapter one. And we'll start at verse six. A son honor his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? So notice this question that God is asking. He says, a son should honor their father, right? And he's saying, if he is your father, where is his honor? If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear, right? Says the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. He's saying it to his priest, his Levi priest, basically saying that despise my name. And you say, wherein have you despised? Wherein have we despised thy name? So now the priests are asking him a question. They're saying, how we despise your name, God? Verse 7 will give you the answer. You offer polluted bread upon my altar. You notice it says, because they did something that he disliked was offer polluted bread on his altar. Not by saying his name wrong or anything like that but by their actions. And you say, when have we polluted thee? And that you say that the table of the Lord is content. Okay, so I gave you some scriptures on profaning the name of God. And we see that they're profaning the name of God by their actions, right? It's plenty more scripture just like this, but for the sake of this study, I'll just stick to that. And with that, I'll say later, YouTube.